When I heard about Google's new super phone, the Nexus 4, built by LG, I was very excited. After all, it packs the latest Android, that's version 4.2, and it's got some of the best hardware in the business, including a quad-core Snapdragon processor. One of Android's biggest advantages is still its home screen, where you can add all these little widgets with, say, your calendar, or your different email accounts, or your Spotify music, weather, and Google Reader. And you can size them in order to fit the screen. Google now figures out who you are and what you want, giving you these little cards that match your needs. Of course, there's also voice search. Google, get me sushi. That quad-core Snapdragon processor means your games are going to look great. You can access camera settings just by putting your finger down. You can adjust the flash, you can switch to HDR or the front-facing camera. You can adjust white balance, you can adjust exposure, you can even do some different scene modes. One of the new Android features is a swipe keyboard built right in. You can literally type without lifting a finger. You can also type using just your voice. The Galaxy S3 is slightly wider, which makes it harder to hold in my hand. So what don't I like about the fantastic new Nexus 4? Well, for starters, it's not compatible with Verizon or Sprint. Furthermore, it doesn't run on the 4G LTE network that Verizon, Sprint, and AT&T use right now. You can get it for T-Mobile. Actually, you can get it for $199 on T-Mobile with a contract, and that's terrific. But if you want to buy it on AT&T, you've got to pay $299, and it won't run on the fastest part of the network. And that is a problem. For NBC News' Gadget Box, I'm Wilson Rothman.